Hey everyone, welcome back. So a few videos ago, we did a Jet 2 holiday and you guys said that we should definitely try an EasyJet holiday. Now, I know it sounds stupid, but I didn't think EasyJet holidays even were a thing. I know they've been going for a while. So we thought, yeah, we'll do a late summer deal um, to Ibiza with EasyJet holidays. And we're going from the home of EasyJet, Luton Airport. Um, now it's just like a normal package holiday. So we've got flights, hotels, transfers, but do we have a rep? That's the question. So let's go then, Gabby, come on. Any excuse to go to Ibiza? Who needs an excuse? We need some bags and a baby. And this little man is ready to go. Oh, Let we're going to Ibiza. You do know, Gabby, this is a, uh, a night flight to Ibiza in September. It's going to be full of yeah, I was rowdy thinking, teenagers, isn't it? Yargle out. Yargle out. Shut up, you'll be having a glass of wine on there, no doubt. Yeah, I know, or but I won't be that much of a lager out. So we've got to check in with our bags and uh, the weight limit, which is really good, like it would be on a normal package holiday, is about 23 kilograms. So we've got, um, we could have three, but we've only gone for two bags. So let's see how easy it is, because apparently now it's all automated. As always, I'm waiting for Gabby and Holly. I'll probably just go through, they'll join me in a minute. Self-service, boarding passes. Do not remove the stickers. I've got to put this on my bag myself. Look how easy that was. Did you find that easy, Gabby? Yeah. You're not even paying attention. <laughs> Don't remove the stickers, so this is difficult to do it one-handed. Pop it on like that. And there you go. This is going to be a bit more of a mission because mine is a lot heavier than Tim's. Well, as long as it doesn't go over 23 kilograms, which I don't think it will. No, not. Blooming heavy, though. What is it? Here you are. Oh, that's close. So if you can see I that. 19. Holly. 19. Follow the on-screen instructions. <laughs> do not remove the stickers. Do you know what we also need to do? What's that? We need to pull off the old ones. Yeah, you always have this tendency to leave the old ones on there. I always take it's them off because I know that there's no chance of it happening, but just in case. Lay it down though on the side. Don't make that mistake that I did before. My bag. What do you do once it's on the belt? You put your bag on there. You have to do it all yourself now, you see. Hang on, quick, 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 just in case. You never know. How was your check-in experience today? I thought it was all right. What was yours? Yeah, it was very good. Well, I thought that was quite easy. Got about an hour, actually, until our flight goes. Right, we'll see you um, on the other side of departures. So, security was quite long, um, and it took forever to go through with Holly because she was wearing every bit of jewellery you could ever imagine, so it took us time. And, of course, baby food, which always holds you up, doesn't it? Should we get coffee or some no, wine? No, I'm a bit torn. We're going to Ibiza, so we... I, I think guess we, we should have a coffee, because we have only had one coffee today, and then, on the plane, have a cheeky wine. Yeah, we'll have to blend in with the, uh, the locals. The winos. It's on the board, but no gate info at the minute. You're like me when it comes to having a spray, aren't you? Yeah, I like to have a go. Even though somebody said in the comments that it's rude to do that. You could be sitting near someone who's got asthma or who not might I've like to smell. I've got asthma and I still like to wear perfume. <laughs> you still like to smell nice. You always pick up a bottle to test and there's never anything in it. That's no, the only the, the popular ones. The ones that don't smell that great, there's normally loads in. So it's like, that's what you, that you can test which perfume is going to be the best. People are going to moan. I can't believe you do that. She's sitting next to me, so I'm not fussed. Never seen that before, although there's no perfume in it. Yeah. Luton has changed so much, though, compared to when I used to come here back in the early noughties so much a, it's a nicer experience now isn't it and they've also got some yeah. outside seating hopefully which we can go and sit outside it's not too busy yeah Luton is definitely my favorite now by far no. really yeah definitely Yours isn't. i still like stanstead but it is it is very similar to stanstead though let's face it now how it weaves around everywhere fancy seeing you here just paid for the water and um, I don't know if you ever remember buying anything from the airport, but you always had to scan your boarding pass. You don't have to do that anymore. 
Let's see if we can get a table on the terrace. I bet you'll be so busy we won't be able to. Any tables? Well, there's some dirty tables. So this is what I love about Luton Airport. You've got this kind of al fresco outside seating area, which is nice, especially when the sun is going down to enjoy a nice cappuccino. Casper's clapping because he's having his food. <laughs> Did the worst thing ever. I was feeding was... him his food and then he started clapping as I went to feed him and it went everywhere. <laughs> but that was right on cue, wasn't that it? That was. <laughs> he's supporting his daddy. Yay. You can't see him. He's over there, hardly feeding him. So yeah, we've got about... Um, 10 minutes until the gate closes actually which is enough time um, to talk about easyjet holidays now the app where you find everything which is pretty good so all your boarding passes are on here and also your apartments of where you're staying with details about the transfers and we need to talk about the transfers actually because i'm a little bit gutted about this so it says that transfers can be up to an hour before they actually leave to take you to your hotel why is that have they said I don't know. It's a bit like the whole Benidorm thing when you, you have to wait for loads of other people, so that might take time. Because by the time we've waited, we could have gone to America. I get slight exaggeration. Yeah. It'd be interesting to know if there are reps there. I have had an email about the reps, which I will uh, which I'll read when we get to the hotel. But do you care? An easy. What's next? Ryanair holidays? Can you imagine? No, thank well, you. <laughs> Ryanair holidays to, um, you'd get there and you wouldn't have a hotel. I my head down a toilet. <laughs> Cheers. You'd, you'd get there and you have to be in a tent or something like that. Can you imagine it? The only thing about EasyJet holidays so far on the app compared to Ryanair, I know it's not holidays, but on the app for when you're flying, it normally tells you the gate number, but on the EasyJet app, it, um, it doesn't tell me the gate number, which is a little bit annoying. What happens if you see like a, a sexy hunk on the plane and you want to go and sit with them? What, oh, what am I going to do? See you later, Tim. I'm not. Mind you, I might have like a sexy girl that wants to sit next to me. And I'll be like, you're welcome, love. <laughs> That's very nice. So last time I flew to Ibiza, we had a lot of turbulence. Yeah, right. Gabby does not like turbulence, so let's hope that it's not like that. I'm excited to see this push chair. It folds up and goes over your shoulder. Over my shoulder it goes. Amazing, it works. Although this is killing my arm. Look at that sunset, looks lovely. Oh, we're going to Ibiza. I've just realised I haven't checked which seats were on. Oh, 22. 22 A, B and C. Look at that, it's like a cabin bag. Come on. <laughs> Are you excited? He's excited, he's touching the microphone. He's like, what is that? It's the microphone. <laughs> and before you ask, hopefully he will be um, very quiet in a minute. Hopefully he'll go to sleep in a minute. Are you ready, Casper? It doesn't feel as rowdy as some Ibiza flights that I've taken in the past this time of night. What was also pretty good was the fact that um, we didn't actually have to book our seats together. They were already pre-assigned to us. Was that an easy jet holiday thing? I don't know, but three people, three seats together, so we didn't have to pay for it. I just skipped the section where it says to select a seat and it gave us three seats together and, was... co and coming back as well. Yeah, that was rather handy, wasn't it? That's it. Drop it on the floor. Going quite nice. Two hours, 20 minutes. I'm just flying you down there. Um, should be reasonably good conditions today. Warm wind as well. 27 degrees last time we checked. I uh, hope you enjoy the flights and we'll get back to you later. Halfway through the flight, we've decided not to go for alcohol. We've gone for a tea and we've gone for a coffee. Casper, we're trying to get him to sleep. Have you noticed that they don't do sick bags anymore? Holly's moved, by the way, just uh, so she can get a window seat. We finally got him settled. It's only taken about an hour walking up and down the plane, but he's in his own seat now. <laughs> Doesn't he look cute? Gabby's decided to have uh, a little bit of food. 
Is it nice? What is it? Chickpeas and some vegetable bits. And I've gone for the famous white chocolate and raspberry popcorn bites. They said it was going to be windy and it really is. Every time I come to Ibiza, oh my god, my belly keeps going. Um, it's a good job it's dark because the plane is really going from side to side. This is on a gimbal, so you probably can't see it moving, but it really is. So, got our bags. Um, the flight coming in was pretty hairy and also scary with the amount of noise that was coming from the younger people. God, I sound old now, don't I? Getting old. So the details of the transfer are on my EasyJet app and it says that we need to go out of the building, turn right and head towards the transfer terminal. Oh look, there is an EasyJet holiday rep just here. Oh yeah, we've got our transfer. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot there, look. Do you have the voucher? Yeah. This is for the bus. The number of the bus is 219. Okay. It's for three people, okay? 219. Okay. Oh yeah, it's under two and three. All right. All right, lovely. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Interesting to see how many buses are out here. Where do we go? Oh, over here, I think. All of the uh, smaller little transfer buses are not ours. Ours is the, the bigger bus. And they say that the wait time could be up to an hour before everyone gets on and they go. Hola. Gabby, Holly don't like sitting at the front. She thinks we're not cool. Oh, well. We are cool. We're, we are cool. We're on an easy jet holiday. How much cooler can you get? Oh, the seats go back. Relaxing. Nice. Well, at the minute, there's not too many people on here, but I think we've got to wait a while for everyone else to get their luggage and get on here. So we'll see how it goes. So we're staying at the Playa Bella Apartments, which hopefully will be the next stop. Thanks. So we've arrived at Playa Bella and uh, it only took, what was it, five, six stops? Yeah, I think we were the fifth one. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. So we're going to get checked in. The time is around about 1 a.m. So we can't see what the hotel looks like until the morning, but we will give you a quick room tour. Cabby's checking out the entertainment. What day is it, Jamie? Sunday. Oh, yeah, of course. So tomorrow we've got Welcome to the Mini Club. <laughs> Hang on, the soul the hunters soul are hunters. here. Bruno Mars. This little boy is very tired. So we're going to go out for drinks. It's one a.m. We're in Ibiza. Baby sitting, rough out. <laughs> that face says everything. Would you have your passport, please? Yeah. So funny. The first thing that Gabby and Holly do religiously, the Wi-Fi password. You don't give it a second. A, a second. It's. What's the Wi-Fi password? When do you go on the internet as soon as you get into I don't. Because you have Not no internet, that's why. Well, that's true, but I normally wait. I normally wait a while. We've got wristbands, but they are not for all-inclusive. They're basically for the pool, which is a bit random. Obviously, they must have a problem with locals going in the pool. 433. This way? This way. It's not very well lit at night, is it? Thank you. Floor three. Floor three. Good this, yeah. Yeah. Online it looks really good. Well, we'll see anyway. Yeah. There is a lift, but it takes two people. So you and Thumps go in there and me and Holly go up the cases. Wow, that is a small lift. This is scary. <laughs> That's like the lift I stayed in in Eastbourne. Yeah, imagine if we've got the big pram, it wouldn't work. 
Are you going to be able to get in if I shut the door? Okay, bye bye. bye. I'll go upstairs. We'll see if she goes up. Yeah, she's gone up. Where are you? Floor three. Floor three? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, you're higher. It sounds like you were lower. Hang on. Are you here? Gabby? Yeah. I can't tell whether she's up or down. Keep talking. Oh, oh you're up. This is very confusing. I didn't like that lift. Like, if the pusher was any bigger, we just would have, like... We felt safe, didn't it? I don't know. That's like something from a warehouse. Welcome. I was like, what the hell? Well, at least it's cold in here. It's, in fact, it's like a blooming fridge. <laughs> Casper's clapping his hands. All right, so let's check out our room. Hang on, we paid for a sea view, where is it? We do have a balcony though. We've got a strip view. I guess we can kind of see the sea there, but this is the view we've got. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Three gorgeous women. <laughs> What's AA mean, Gabby? Air oh, air conditioning. Air con. No. So we're lighting here. Oh, so this is the master. Very nice. And of course, a little cot for Casper, which we're going to put him in. So this is only a one bedroom apartment, which means that um, if Holly needs the toilet in the night, she has to come through our bedroom into the bathroom. The bathroom's nice, it's basic, it's clean. In fact, actually, it's better than some bathrooms I've seen in Ibiza. That's actually pretty good. Oh, very swish. Wasn't expecting that. What do you think to the room? I, I'm not a fan, if I'm being honest. Oh really? Don't really do it. I think I like it actually. I like the uh, the beach look. Oh, I like the beach look. Don't like the layout. All right, so 2 a.m. We're finally in the room, finally settled. We don't have the sea view that I was hoping for, but we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Actually. I can see the lighthouse over there, so we might we might have a sea view after all. We'll yeah, see what it looks like in the morning. We'll see you in the morning for breakfast. I can't wait to get to bed. I'm so excited. Morning. So it was a good first night's sleep. Looking out over the balcony, realised we can actually see the sea from the apartment, which is nice. All right, it doesn't have the big front sea view, but it has what you would call a partial sea view, which I'll take. Actually, I kind of like it because you can see the lighthouse, especially at night when it flashes. So for breakfast, we're gonna go just further up the road. There's a panderia that does some really nice coffee and some pastries and croissants and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go there. It's a really lovely place. Rather than going for a full English breakfast, the first day when you're in Ibiza might be a little bit too much on the stomach. I tell you what, this lift is so blooming small. It's actually a struggle to get just me and Casper in the lift. Gabby and Holly are up. They're just taking forever as always. So while we're waiting, I'll just quickly show you the pool, come on. These so-called apartments feel more like um, a block of flats. They even have buzzers and numbers on the door so you can buzz the apartment and they can actually let you in. I guess it's good for security though. But this was the photo that we saw online and it kind of sold it for us. You've got the pool and then you've got the sea and the bay of San Antonio. So we thought, yeah, this is definitely for us. However, when you look a little bit closer, <laughs> it doesn't quite look as good as the photos show. I mean, it does feel a little bit more, like I saying, you're just in blocks of flats. But yeah, the pool's nice. It's not the best when you actually see it in person. We'll show you a little bit later because there's a little splash pool over there for uh, Casper, so he's going to love that. And the fact you can get direct access onto the beach, just a short walk. And there's also a little ferry that goes over to the other side of San Antonio Bay, which we'll go on a little bit later. I think we underestimated how far this Pandaria is. Gabby said it's only about five minutes up the road. So far, we've been walking about 10 minutes and the sweat's pouring off my head. It's only 11 in the morning. Who said uh, Ibiza isn't too hot in September? A Pandaria basically is a bakery. It is. Yeah, they do it's amazing uh, croissants, they do panda chocolate. We first discovered this place when we first came to Ibiza together um, and we've been coming here ever since, even though the sweat is just pouring off. How come you don't sweat? 
I your forehead sweating. does not sweat. My forehead is just like ringing with sweat to get here. Oh, well, but, I did tell you I was Mediterranean blooded, right? Yeah, well, it's worth it. <clears throat> Look at some of the cakes they've got here. Oh, I mean, like, I think that's chocolate. These are pretty nice to have chocolate in the middle of them. That's what you call an epic pan de chocolate. Potbaras um, con jamón, por favor, um, una. So breakfast is served. We've got a selection of uh, cheese and ham on. Uh, we've got croissants, chocolate, coffee. Yeah, I did say I'd go for a light breakfast rather than go for full English breakfast, but this, this isn't all mine, obviously, that we're gonna share all this out, aren't we? You know, the first breakfast when you arrive on holiday, for me, is always the best breakfast, don't you think? Nice latte. It's rather civilized in this bakery, they give you a knife and fork for everything. People aren't using their hands, so we just use a knife and fork. So the apartments are not in a bad area, although they are right next to a building site, but there's been no work on that for a long while because I've been coming to Ibiza for years and it's always looked like that. But the rep tables, if you come over here, there is a little sign for the EasyJet holidays and the way they work it is, is you basically contact them through WhatsApp or the phone which apparently is a dedicated phone line if you do have any problems whilst you're in resort. But other than that, there isn't a rep. But you can always get some information from <coughs> another holiday company, can't you? That's what I mean about this hotel. It's um, the hotel apartments do feel a little bit, like I say, not overly that nice. So you can get to the pool down there, but I'm going to walk around the front of the building just to show you how close we are to the beach. I've been coming to Ibiza for about, I don't know, eight years, and in that time, I've seen things get very expensive, especially with the food. But this is great because it's literally right on the beach. So it's perfect, you know, when you want the ideal choice of either having a pool day or a beach day, you can have both, because literally you just walk out of there and you're right by the beach. And here he is, having fun in the swimming pool. Hey, hey, hey. Are you enjoying it, Casper? He's pulling you along. This is the reason why we picked this hotel, because of this little aqua park. It's pretty cool for Casper. Yeah, one of the reasons we picked this hotel is because it's got like a nice little water park and on our last holiday with Jet 2, the hotel we stayed at had some lovely water features for kids. So that is why we You're watching it. out for that, aren't you? Because that's going to go I'm waiting minute. for that to go over my head right now. Well, more Casper's head. And <laughs> one of the great things about it is not only does it have the features for children, but it does have it's these going, luxurious... <laughs> these luxurious sea views as well. I always feel a little bit like when you're sunbathing here, you feel like you could be on a yacht. The only problem is the lack of parasols, because we've got yes. Casper, there's like very few parasols, but they're all being used. But we were saying that some people have got them up and they're not even sitting by them, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, or some people have got them, but got them down and not using them at all. And yeah, we're desperate need of one because we've got babies. Are you having fun, Casper? Yeah. Are you having fun? My butt might be a bit too big for this slide. Casper's always a little bit nervous, bless him. He looks happy though. Ah! I must admit, I was hesitating going down there. Well, that's more Gabby's style, that one. Yeah, that's more me. There's a uh, there's a bar, little restaurant over there, but there's also another restaurant in the far corner as well. So let's talk car hire. I rented this baby for 43 euros. Good price? Bargain. Obviously, I was worried and went for the extra insurance. I could have just put a thousand pound on my credit card, but I decided to go for the extra insurance. I was a little unclear what I was actually paying for, to be honest, but I am slightly worried because of the damage on this car. Now, I haven't done this because I only arrived in the car um, yesterday and we drove from the airport to pick it up and drove here, didn't go through any potholes or anything. So I don't understand how I've done this damage. So I'm slightly concerned when I take it back what they're going to say. How so, would you not know if you've done it? You must have heard like a clatter or something. Well, no, 
I don't think it and is. And he probably didn't do it, but this is a lesson learned. You should always, when you're home in a car, mm. check all around it, underneath well, it, and make sure that yeah, you take pictures as well did, as photographic evidence. The lady did say to me, you don't need to check because you've got the extra insurance, but she said to me, if you accidentally damage the car, then you'll pay for it, but if it's not intentionally, you don't. And Never. I was, confused to what she meant by that never trust the car company when they tell you you don't need to check make sure you do so it's lunchtime we're not going to go to a fancy beach bar we are going to go to Lidl's Lidl's in Spain is brilliant they've got a really good selection uh, Gabby loves the salads I can't get enough of Lidl's in Ibiza it's got honestly the fresh seafood bit it's got so much more of a selection than it does because you know why don't you because a lot of the food in Lidl in the UK comes from like uh, I think don't quote me but the Netherlands and Amsterdam and stuff like that but the uh, the Lidl's in Spain obviously a lot more of the food is Spanish shopping at Lidl yay we're here the best supermarket in Ibiza oh and I'm starving I need food you probably think we're really sad and I don't normally do a supermarket review but you need to go and check this place out. Where's the sun gone Gabby? Now try not to skip and jump as you head into the supermarket. Try not to. <laughs> I don't understand why they've got a fake grass there. Aftertow. Yeah watch out this car. Oh, that was an interesting fact. What? So I didn't have a coin but the gentleman that was to buy got a a lollipop stick and just shoved it in and it worked. Is that what they do? Yeah. So even though there is a little bit of a pastry section in the UK Lidl, it's not as good as this one in Spain. I mean, like literally you've got everything in here. Although it's a little bit sparse at the minute. Look at the size of those croissants. See pretzels, I mean like fresh bread. This is what we get, um, salads because they're so cheap and for lunch we get a few of these and um, yeah they really fill you up don't they? They're fabulous. Why, why have you got this glove on your hand? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't want to take it off. Like, Holly said she wants the pasta <laughs> one. Where's that? Cheese? Mozzarella? Holly. People are going to think you work here with that glove on. <laughs> Although they'll think you're dressed weird. And then flip flops. That, that looks cool. You always find the weird and wonderful on the middle aisle in Lidl, don't you? Shoes here. A Harry Potter table and chair set, wow. Now that is what you call a huge sausage. If only we were having a barbecue, that would be amazing. In Spain as well, it's so much better. Look at that. Mick, pick a mix there. Prawns, mussels. Gabby, look, they've separated the squid from the, the tentacles to the hoods. Oh my God, the you now. are so strange, man. What's great about the salads is that you just pick them up, take them down to the beach. Now that's what you call a good price for a bottle of white wine. Spanish beer, 81 cents, with a hint of lemon. Very nice. Water is so much cheaper as well in Spain than it is in the UK. Some things never change though, just like being in the UK. I'm hunting for Gabby, trying to find out where she is. That's all I do whenever I go to a supermarket in the UK or at home, is search for where Gabby is. Thought that was Gabby then. Finally found you. Some things in Lidl never change, and that's the queues. Is it any cheaper than the UK? Say, no, 40 euros. One happy girl. <laughs> okay, so Ibiza is famous for its sunsets. We'll probably miss it, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over by boat and the boat leaves from over there and it goes across to the other part of uh, San Antonio and then of course we've got a walk towards Cafe Mambo where everybody congregates. Why did I just do that? Congregates. I don't think we're going to make it. No we're probably not but at least we'll probably get a little bit of the pinkiness in the sky. It is weird in Ibiza you know it's legendary the sunsets that as soon as the sun goes beyond the horizon people clap. So we better go and catch this boat that's just over there. I love the fact that Gabby was putting her sunglasses on for the sunset, but you're probably going to miss it. We better go. Before I get there, though, we need some cash, which I don't have on me. There's a cash point just behind that hotel. And yes, we missed the boat. <laughs> we've got how long? We've got to wait now. I Twenty minutes. Like, I've been informed. Thirty minutes. It's thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. Not even twenty minutes. The gentleman in the red T-shirt said thirty minutes. Wow. So we're definitely going to miss the sunset. Uh. 
We have just seen over the water that there is another boat on its way. That boat will wait there for about half an hour before it goes back. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's yeah. half an hour away. Casper's looking forward to going on the boat, aren't you, Casper? He loves the boat. Should we just jet ski over? So if I can remember, this is four, is it four euros? Thank you, welcome Yes. Hola. Hola. 12, please. For each 12. Got him? Yeah. Here's the little man. All ready to go. Perfect time to cross, actually, because this is when the sky is at its most beautiful. Look at the colour of the sky. Gorgeous. It's quite funny because there were a couple that were on the boat that were missold what this was. They didn't realise that it's just like a, a river taxi and they said, um, we thought we were coming over for the sunset. <laughs> I bet they were absolutely gutted. Look at that though, it's beautiful. It just looks so atmospheric with the lighthouse over there. So we're heading to San Antonio, whether you can see it or not, but Cafe Mambo is over there. Cafe Del Mar and then the rest of San Antonio Bay. He wants his milk, so what he does with Gabby, he will literally bite any part of her body looking for the milk. <laughs> yeah. He's biting your he's biting your knees. Mate. <laughs> I just realised I'm sitting on something warm and then I realised that's the engine, obviously. This is like the heaviest pram to carry ever. Thanks a lot. And we've arrived at sunset in the world famous San Antonio. See, that looks like a club I would definitely want to go in. See, even though I'm in my 40s, I never used to go clubbing in my younger days. You did, but I didn't. So I, I feel like I've still missed out. I would still do that now. That did, oh yeah, there's a bar right at the top. I didn't notice that. Did you go there with the baby? Probably not. People always say, oh, you know, when you've got kids, you can't go to Ibiza and you can't live it up and stuff like that. But I think what they're doing is they're trying to open it up a little bit. Yeah, it's a good idea. People that are parents that want to still have a little bit of that lifestyle, which I think is great. Which we do. Which we do. Because I don't feel my age at all, like anybody does really when they get older. How old do you think I can pass for, Gabby? 1830s still exist. Do you reckon I can get on an 1830s holiday? Probably yeah, not. Yeah, but you would be the 30. You'd be just skimming it. Really? Not 22? I love this secret beach down here. Not a lot of people know about it in San Antonio. There's even a couple of people still swimming though this time of night. Love that. This is such a lovely sunset walk though, isn't it? I think we can still just about say it's sunset really. On the live the other night, I said about how I've jumped into one of these pools before because I love to jump in other people's pools even though it's not really the done thing to do and we had a Karen that shouted at me and said the pool closes at 8 30. <laughs> <laughs> you may be able to see our hotel in the distance we said this on the live right if you want to get a cheap drink and see the sunset it's best to get a drink here just on the uh, on the right hand side because uh, when you go further up here, drinks get a lot more expensive. Although they're very clever because you can't see the sunset from here, can you? This is where we go for a glass of wine. So the legendary space carries on in Ibiza. It's now up here. No, it's not really all the way coming. I mean, at sunset, it gets so, so busy. And then just after sunset, it kind of maybe thins out just a little bit the weirdest thing is is if you walk up here during the day it's like a completely different place isn't it it's just yeah. so deserted almost and quiet and you know people just come up here for a quiet lunch but it's like from like five in the afternoon is when it gets like really busy gabby bgs are playing you're in ibifa and there's bgs are playing during the night oh, no. Just to think, I missed out on all of this when I was in my 20s and 30s. 
And Gabby actually used to live just above um, Cafe Mambo. I think it was the third balcony just over there. Didn't you say Robbie Williams was your like... He was on this side somewhere. Robbie Williams had a flat here? Yeah, on this side. You would have thought he would have had a bit more of an expensive hard. apartment. They're really expensive. Oh, are they? Yeah, really expensive. You don't know how lucky you were. And you was working as a holiday rep, yet you managed to have a... And you didn't, you couldn't really appreciate it, probably. I wasn't a rep, I was an entertainer. The first thing I said when I was introduced to this apartment was, is this it? This is well small. So we didn't make it quite for sunset, which I'm a little bit gutted about because the atmosphere when the sun sets, when everybody claps, is quite special here in Ibiza. Right? Nine times out of ten, though, when we're on holiday, we never make it for sunset. There might be the odd time. That's because you and Holly take forever to get ready. It's true. Can I just say, you were living here for about three or four months. You had the sunset every night. And I bet you never really bothered. Well, this is like what I was saying on the live. I was working. I never got to embrace it. Yeah. So I guess when you why. have it all the time, you're not bothered. Anyway, we're going to go and get a drink and then have some food. Come with us. So for dinner, we thought we'd come to the Skinny Kitchen because I hear it's, uh, it's quite good. They do fish tacos. You have to try everything once, don't you, Tim? Fish to tacos. Be fair. What was that film? I love you, man. I love you, man. They tacos. did the best fish tacos. But that was in America, though. Not yeah, I don't think they'll be the same, will they? Now, I'm just reading on the menu here. It says add 90 minutes of bottomless prosecco for 35 pound, 35 euros per person. How could you drink so much prosecco in 90 minutes? I'd have a major hangover in that. <laughs> Never seen that before. We've gone for fish tacos, me and Gabby. They did say tartar sauce on it, but I want the tartar sauce, but they don't seem to have it. I also said no onions on mine, and they still have onions on it. I've gone for truffle fries, but I can't see the truffle. What is that? Is that lime? Grilled lime? Yeah. Good fish tacos? They're good. They are good, aren't they? It's a shame because I wanted to know what truffle tastes like, but I can't see any truffle on these fries. You know asparagus makes your wee smell. Have you put lime on that? That is nice. So the Skinny Kitchen, I didn't overly rate it. It's okay. The only but... reason why I didn't rate it is because, especially when you're making food that is supposed to be fresh like that, when you ask for no onion and no chili, if they can't even get that right. When Tim was placing his order, he did say, can I have fish tacos, but without this, that and that. And the waitress said, I can't actually do it without this and that. I can only order it plain and we were like what like when you go into a restaurant you should be able to order things i understand like. if it was pre-made and pre-packaged but this it was fish tacos so it's fresh and when it came it obviously was fresh so the fact that even when the waitress came to the table she said no onions no um chili and i was like yes please and there's onions and chili on it but anyway away, it was like, apart okay. from that the service is great god we sound like we're moaning here don't we but it was very expensive it came That's to the problem like we wouldn't moan but because the price is so high yeah then that does give you reason to moan doesn't it because when you're paying a high price you do expect a high standard don't you anyway we stopped moaning now we're gonna go and get some churros you're paying <laughs> So we're on a little bit of a sightseeing trip today. We're going to be uh, heading around the island. Our first stop is the world famous S Vedra, which is really beautiful. It's a little bit of a walk, but it's on the worst car park in the world. And um, I can tell where the damage came from with the previous occupier. And it must have been on this road because just driving on this is just ridiculous. So Gabby's idea of getting a nice lightweight pram is great but when you're going a little bit off-road it's really not funny in it so many of these tourist places have fences that have been just pulled down so the tourists can get in there is probably a good reason why um, once upon a time this was closed to the public and you'll see why just look at the view them up here. Woo. Apparently there is magical properties about this island. You can go out to that rock if you want. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Would you stand on that rock? This one. No, don't do it. Because literally No, I don't dare you. There is literally a sheer drop off there. In fact, if we come around this side, you can see the beach down here. It's quite a drop. Yeah, that don't look safe at all. That looks like that's crumbling away, but there's nothing to stop people going right to the edge here, which is obviously quite 
dangerous. Is it worth the walk? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd do it. Ev but I just think um, I can see actually people in front of me now changing their shoes. So, yeah. Don't come up here in flip flops. Don't come up here in flip flops. Bring your trainers or your walking boots and then switch when you get here, maybe, because they've got the right idea for sure. So, unfortunately, yesterday didn't go as planned because we were only away from the car for about 10 minutes. And as I walked back to the car to get my phone to go on to Google Maps to see where we were going next, I realised my phone was stolen. Yeah, I know. It's the worst thing, isn't it? When your phone gets stolen, it's a piece of your life gets taken away. Plus, also, I had so many photos of Casper there as, uh, well, he's all of his life. So all the videos and photos have gone because uh, I'm not on an iPhone like Gabby and I don't back them up in the cloud because it's always harder if you've got an android to back them up in a cloud i find anyway but yeah so i spent most of the day trying to call my bank and trying to get a new phone sorted and yeah so we know what you're thinking you're thinking how did this phone get stolen right out well, of the car out of the car i thought i locked the car why wasn't the car locked well well then no it's because the lock on the car it was i was pressing the unlock button because i because it's right at the t anyway I can't believe it. They took it out of the he case. He thought he locked it, but he hadn't, basically. They took it actually out of the case. They left my case there and left all my bank cards, but I was paranoid that they'd taken photos of my... Anyway, but today's a different day. We're going to head back over to San Antonio because we're going to go somewhere very special where the whole family can enjoy a pool party. I'm so excited about it. But do you know what? I know what I'm going to buy you for Christmas now. A man bag. So often when you think about Ibiza, you think about a good old pool party, right? Or going to a, a, a beach club. Oh, yeah. Now, obviously, with Casper, we can't really do that. Or can we? There is something called Bambaku in Ibiza, and they do a family pool day, which is what we've got booked for today. Now, just get this. They've got stilt walkers, they've got DJs, but they also have Superman. Oh, now you're talking. And Spider-Man. Yes. <laughs> So this will be interesting to see what this is like. So we're heading over on the boat now to go to uh, Bambaku to check out the family pool party. These cost us 15 euros each. Luckily, Casper gets in for free, Yay. under twos. He also gets on the boat for free. He does. Stay this young forever. Stay Don't ever little. grow up. Because as soon as you get to two, we're going to have to start for paying for things, or most things anyway. So it opens at midday. We're getting there literally at midday and it's open until late apparently. Whether we're going to be there all day, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Does this price include drinks? I don't think it does. I bet it doesn't. I don't think it does. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, it would help us out enormously if you can give it a thumbs up. And remember, if you haven't already, 76% of you haven't, remember to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out loads. This is the problem when you have a vlogging wife. I have to keep waiting for her. She doesn't actually have to wait for me ever, really. I'm always waiting for her while she's vlogging. Uh, but we got off the boat over there and we have to walk all the way around San Antonio Bay to get to Bambaku. Gabby is not a fan of San Antonio Beach. I actually really like it. They rake it every night. They look after the beach. It's very shallow. The water's obviously very warm. Tickets. Okay. Here comes the family. Casper looks so unimpressed. Thumpies, are you ready for a pool party? What do you think? The baby club. The baby club? <laughs> the baby club pool party. Oh, okay. What? Bit gutted then, so we have to pay for the beds separately, but there are no beds. So we paid to come to a beach club, and we can only sit at the restaurant tables because there's no beach beds because they're all, they're all sold out. Love these seats, though, at the bar. These are what you call proper beach bar seats. Shame I've got a problem with my arm, otherwise I'd definitely be trying that out. I think this is obviously an extra cost. I can't see Spider-Man anywhere. Oh, the Mad Hatters are there, look. Look, there's a little bit of a party going on for the, uh, for the kids. The Mad Hatters are there. <laughs> you don't look impressed. I just don't this... Well, I thought we could just sit here, Gabby. There's a, there's... We can just rest it there. We've spent a lot of money to come in here already. I can't believe we're in here quite early and the beds have already gone. They're playing Limbo. Is it Baby Limbo? <laughs> See, one of these sun beds would have been nice. You have to book them early. So there's a few plunge pools, which would have been nice. But this is the pool. He don't want to go in the... Why does he not want to go in? 
<laughs> is it too cold for him, do you think? <laughs> what are you doing, Casper? <laughs> That dragonfly, look at that. Come on, Casper, your first hot tub. <laughs> you don't want to go in. Yeah, I know because when I didn't. You've got didn't... kids, you need to base yourself somewhere. You can't just walk around. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. You need to sit and lay somewhere, especially when it's hot. So I think they've kind of got that wrong, if you ask my opinion. But I'm hoping someone's going to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He loves it, really. Obviously, it's Ibiza. Things are going to be expensive. They upsell you with absolutely everything. It costs us 15 euros to get in here each. Um, the wave pool is extra. The sunbeds are extra. The pool is free, at least. But how much are the drinks, Gabby? Yours is 14 euros and mine is 16 euros. That's quite expensive. I don't know about you, but I find when I'm in a place like this that you don't feel very welcome unless you're spending a lot of money. You do feel a little bit like you're bothering people that work here when you're asking about something. You feel like you're you're a hindrance. Yeah, I know. That's what I just said. Annoying. Even to get a drink, it was like uh, we were waiting for a, a waiter to come, and then and when you stopped them, they were like, "Really? What, what do you want?" And it's like, "Well, we want a drink, but." Gabby has gone for a strawberry daiquiri while I've gone for a mojito. Look how much ice is in this mojito. I should have gone for the daiquiri. Is yours alcoholic free? No. Oh man, I'm spilling it everywhere and this is costing me 16 euros. Anyway, let's try it. <laughs> Not too strong either. A lot of ice in that though. Probably about three sips and that'll be gone. I bet you wish you was at Ocean Beach right now next door. Well, I'd like to think Ocean Beach has got a little bit more to offer, like a sunbed baby. Probably not. You probably have to pay for them as well, no doubt. At least the swings are free and they're fun. Even the DJ is about 12. <laughs> Even Spider-Man is here, look, making an appearance. <laughs> Casper, he, who's now asleep, which is just typical. Personally think if you pay like a tenner maybe to come in, maybe and the drinks are a little bit cheaper, not too bad, but I wouldn't say that the entertainment for kids is amazing. Like I was under the impression there was gonna be like Acrobats and all sorts. I yeah, think it really is. Mums and dads can come here and feel like they're having a beach club, beach club day, and the kids can enjoy it as well. So I guess it is, but it can get blooming expensive. Yeah, unless you're having a good drink, it's not very entertaining. I don't think. I just wish when we bought the tickets, said it said to us that you're just buying tickets to get entry rather than the summits. But anyway, we're making the most of it. But I don't think we're going to be staying here for much longer because, well, there's not. I know it's going to sound bad, but when there's no some beds yes there is a pool there's not much to do so we might hit the beach actually you're gonna go and walk around san antonio aren't you i do need to do a bit of shopping but yeah. i'm not gonna lie it's an expensive drink it is a mean daiquiri my mojito went in three sips so we've come out of the beach club and we thought we'd go and grab a coffee because you've got this beautiful view love these chairs as well you look relaxed darling I do feel relaxed. I'm absolutely exhausted. I, I don't know why, but I feel like I've done a lot of walking on this holiday. Actually, I do know why. So it's really nice to just punk myself here. I'm yeah, tired. It's really nice. This is obviously where you get the best sunset in Ibiza. The Cafe Mambo is up there, Cafe Del Mar. This is Savannah's, and now this is um, Space, really randomly. Not a club, but. We wanted to come here for. Just a coffee really, come down, see what's going on. We've had a coffee in Cafe Del Mar before, but it's closed at the moment. But um, we were just intrigued to know, you know, if we could get a table and get a coffee in Cafe Mambo. And uh, they did say it was 80 pound minimum spend. I'm not being funny or anything, but I don't see how different it is sitting here or there, if I'm being honest with you. No, 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 it was 80 euros minimum per spend. person. Oh, per person, was it? Yes. Oh. I reckon Crazy. it's about £10 a cocktail there. So, and we yeah. don't know how much this is yet. Certainly a lot more chilled out here compared to just down there at Cafe Mambo at the moment because uh, Capital Dance or something are there. And as you can see, it's pretty busy. But we're just happily chilled out here waiting for the sunset for tonight, our last sunset. How much was two coffees and some chips? 20 euros. So that was our EasyJet holiday. Was it easy from start to finish? If you don't encounter any problems, it is easy. If you encounter a problem, obviously there's the app 
and you can contact EasyJet Holidays through there. So I guess it wouldn't be a big deal. Transfers though, all I had to do was scan the QR code that was in reception and I literally put in my booking reference number, my surname, and then it told me what time the transfer was gonna pick us up from. So I thought it was pretty good. The only downside is, is that uh, the flight going back is delayed by an hour. But then having said that, most flights that you go back from Ibiza, when you're going home from Ibiza, why? most flights are delayed. I don't know why, but one thing I noticed as well is that it isn't much different than if you was to book everything separately. So if you were to book your flight separately to your hotel, I wouldn't say that's any different to booking an EasyJet holiday, in my personal opinion. Well, obviously, you've still got the comfort of it being at all protected and you've got a rep of sorts that is someone on the other end of a phone to sort out problems. But you can always go to reception and ask if you've got a problem with your room. If you've got a problem with your flight, you speak to EasyJet. So I wouldn't say, uh, and I actually found EasyJet holidays, or we've found EasyJet holidays in the past to be more expensive than Jet2 or booking it separately, to be honest. So whether or not we'd do it again, I'm not quite sure. Compare the two, I do think that um, Jet2 holidays comes up a little bit cheaper when you're shopping around. But then again, I think it all depends on time of year because Jet2, they do offer a last minute saving, whereas EasyJet never really offered that. If you fancy seeing more of Ibiza, don't forget to click the video on the screen right now. Or if you fancy seeing our Jet2 holiday, click on the screen now. Remember to hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time.